Hello, my name is David Trimberger. I am going to be doing my peer-to-peer -peer attempt number three for intraosseous medication administration. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is gather up all my equipment, make sure that I have my easy drill, and I'm going to make sure that it works whenever I have it. Okay. I'm also going to make sure that I have properly sized needle, the correct one that I uh, need. I'm going to make sure that it has stylet, I have my antiseptic, uh, my antiseptic solution, I have some form of syringe, I have a bulky dressing pre-taped to allow for easy, uh, yeah, to allow for easy bandaging. Then I'm also going to grab my IV solution. I'm going to check for the clarity, the expiration date, make sure that it is the right kind of solution as well as check for the do uh, for the proper drip rate. Then I'm going to grab my IV tubing. Oh, and also on my IV bag, I'm going to make sure that it has both of its tail ports and tail, tail port covers. Next, I'm going to grab my IV tubing, I'm going to check and make sure that there are no kinks, no twists, make sure that it also has both of its tail port covers. I'm going to move my clamp as close to the drip chamber as I can, make sure that it is already fully clamped off. After I have everything inspected, I'm going to go ahead and do proper PPE. Remove my tail port, remove my drip chamber cover, going to spike my bag, turn it upside down, fill my drip chamber about halfway. Next I'm going to open up my tubing. Get all my air bubbles out. Okay. Okay. Hang my IV bag. Set that aside. Okay, then next what I'm going to do, yet again, inspect my IO one more time. Assess for burrs. Make sure that's stylet get everything else ready to go. Once that all is ready, then I'm going to uh, come over to my patient, and then I'm going to landmark the area that I'm going to put the IO in. So I'm going to find the patella. I'm going to go two finger breaths down, one finger breath over, or one finger breath medial. So I'm going to be going right here. Once I've done that, I will open up my antiseptic. I'm going to take it, start in the middle, move outward, then I'm going to go at a 90 degree perpendicular angle with my landmark, and I'm going to insert my IO. Then I will stop inserting my IO whenever I feel a pop or I start feeling resistance. Um, uh, once I feel that resistance, then I'm going to take a syringe, uh, put it on my IO. I will then pull back. If I start to see a blood return, then that means that I'm in the intermedullary cavity. Uh, I can then take that solution or that syringe, pull back even further. Uh, I can fill up a syringe full of blood, put a cap on it, give it to the hospital whenever we arrive. Um, and then uh, previous, before I would do that, uh, there would be a stylet on my IOs, my IO needle. I would remove the stylet, put in the proper receptacle, then I would uh, draw back. Sorry, trying to work with what I have. Um, so I would remove that. Once my IO has been confirmed, I would go and then I would stabilize with my bulky dressing. 
I will then take my IV solution, put it on my patient, open up the drip chamber, um, assess for adequate drip rate, and then I will assess my patient for any uh, for any signs of unwanted uh, side effects or symptoms, and then uh, check and just monitor my patient, uh, how they are reacting to the IO solution, clean up my area, and then move on.